In October 2008, the Singapore International Foundation launched in Cambodia the first ever speech therapy training project on feeding and communication. The speech therapy workshop is organized in partnership with Cambodia's Caritas Center for Child and Adolescent Mental Health. It aims to impart knowledge to professionals working with the pediatric population diagnosed with autism, cerebral palsy, intellectual disability, communication and developmental delays. Under the Singapore Volunteer Overseas Program, a team of speech therapists trained a group of 25 Cambodian medical and allied health professionals in several areas, including communication, swallowing fundamentals, assessment, and basic intervention skills. I decided to participate in this because I came to Cambodia um, to do the touristy Angkor Wat trip, and, and I saw the kids, and I think I really realized that they're very, very lacking in terms of special needs support. So the project really appealed to me. We're coming in to teach them the foundations of communication as well as feeding, um, as well as some early therapy techniques that they can implement and some strategies that they can help um, advise the families that they work with in the villages to implement so that it really stimulates the child's communication as well as how he can eat um, and feed safely. Because she has CP, what's she going to have difficulty doing? Mm -hmm. She's going to have difficulties moving to take it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Sometimes we write the word cookie or biscuit. A lot of the kids here are not given the chance to develop their communication skills because the parents feel that it's not going to emerge, so they don't even interact with the child anymore. We're getting them to experience what it's like to communicate with pictures. So if you don't have words, um, some children with autism or cerebral palsy might not have words. How is it going to work for you? How do you use pictures to tell people what you need? Bubbles. This helps her to learn that this thing is called bubbles. Um, we have trained about 20 participants and these people have been identified to be quite key individuals in the various organisations. So they're going to go back um, and conduct some mini workshops with the individual organisations and then train the few workers as well. Um, we did some review sessions so we had them go and practice what we're talking about and we have observed that some of the kids have been a little bit happier. We want the participants to walk away with a change of perspective that communication is important in a child's life and he needs to eat and swallow safely to grow up healthy and strong. The speech therapy workshop has really exceeded our expectations. Um, the trainers are very, very, very happy with what we have achieved and the participants are really showing us that they love this and they need this and they're benefiting from this. It would really not have been possible if not for uh, Metro for Children charity, especially Pioneer Junior College. Um, they spent their holidays to raise funds and we think the efforts from this little tiny workshop is going to spread and it's going to provide the foundation for lots more good things to come.